Because I'm going to be showing you how to work with the Vita's thumbsticks in later tutorials, I wanted to show you an option that you might be interested in if you have a PS3 controller. You also might be able to get this to work with the Xbox 360 controller if you're lucky, but you might not. So before we begin the real tutorials, let's have a look at how we might set this up. Again, this isn't a requirement, it's just something that you may want to consider. So the software that we're going to be using is called Motion and Joy, and you can see the website here. It's motionandjoy.com. And before you click the download button that you see at the top of the screen, realize that there's a lot of misleading links here. So you have to be a little bit careful. The real downloads are under the download heading that you see right here. So if you click on this guy, you can see that it's going to pull up this page. And then down here you see the 32 and 64-bit versions here for Windows on Site 1. So you would want to click this link and follow that uh, if you're interested in installing the software. So I already have that software running and I wanted to show you what it looks like. Right now I have a PS3 controller hooked up to my machine and notice that it recognizes it here and that's because I've already installed the driver for the PS3. Now how did I do that? If you look here under driver manager you can see that it recognizes this hardware and you can tell it's a PS3 because of this vid054 that you see right here. So if you wanted to load the driver you could click on this checkbox and say load driver and it's going to take it a second as you'll see and now that it found it we can go back here to profiles. Now if I did select the PS3 option here I wanted to show you what it's going to look like. I can go and click enable and you could also do the vibration testing which is kind of cool but if I click on game controller panel and I come over here and go to properties you can see that it shows me the status of the thumbsticks and the buttons of this controller. So as I rotate it around, I'm not pressing any buttons or any triggers or anything like that. You can see that just by moving it around in space, it's controlling the X and the Y rotation, and that's not what we want. Now if I move the left thumbstick, you can see that moves the little cursor around. If I move the right thumbstick, it also moves the X and the Y around, and that is what we want. So that's what you're going for. So if that's not working for you, there's another option that you might get to work. I'll hit OK. And then I'll drop down here and notice this Xbox 360 controller emulator. That's worked for me as well. So I can click that and say Enable. And then if I go to the Game Controller panel now, it's a little bit more simplified, but these X and Y rotations work really well, as does the left thumbstick. So that's it for now. I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how you might hook up your PS3 controller to your PC.